Hi, hey, this is David Cavanaugh. I'm making a little progress with the BSA Spitfire Mark IV. Um, I've drained all the fluids and looking at the screen down there, I might have seen better days. I kind of wonder if the sump pickup got mashed into this side, maybe it wasn't put in right. I'm not sure. It's been beat up a little bit. Let's see what else. Got the foot pegs off. Got a little mess going on underneath here because I've drained oil from three different compartments and I just got the timing side cover off um, I had to get this this guy um, off of there and I, I got a a bolt that was holding in the, um, the exhaust pipe and it fits right in there and then I put the wrench on there and gave it a whack a couple different angles and it popped off um, some people say I should burn this in fire, but we'll see. <laughs> um, all right, what else? All right, this is my, really my first look inside here. Um, got quite a mess going on. Um, it's kind of sludgy. It doesn't seem like a good thing, actually. I wonder if there's a leak between the gearbox side and, and other oil. I don't know. I'm not sure what oil co-mingles in here. Um, I've heard something about iron pumps versus alloy. I know SRM makes a, a good quality pump, so it seems like that's what I'm probably going to end up with to maintain good pressure. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at here. Is that a proper bearing versus a bush? Um, it looks to me like the end of a, a roller bearing, honestly, but you guys maybe can tell me a little better. Um, try not to blind the camera with my, my bright flashlight here. So, I've left the, all the gears intact, as somebody recommended. Um, yeah, I might be pulling out the, the gearbox next before I disturb too much going on up front here. I'm actually going out of town for a week for work, so this is going to have to sit for a little bit. Here's another look inside the, the crankcase. Not sure if there's anything useful to see in there right now. Um, I see some residue at the very bottom. Looks kind of dry though. So maybe it was just stuff that was caked inside the case. Not particularly well cleaned. Alright. I'm sure if people will let me know if they see something that, that looks bad in here. Um, here. Here's more of the inside of the case. It's a little concerning that I've got... I don't know if, it, if, the, if that's two different kinds of oils mixing or what. Because it, look, judging by holes I'm seeing here, it looks like I ought to be seeing engine oil in this Oh, well, there's actually a seal midway through, right? So, engine oil on the front, gear oil on the back. Is that right? All right. I'll probably be uh, taking the oil pump off. Anyway, I'm going to go through the manual. I'm, not gonna, I'm going to try to do this in the right order. I've seen people taking out some of these gears, but I, I, I need to go back and read the form and see why I'm supposed to uh, leave some of these things on here. And maybe maintain the timing. Alright then. I guess that's it. Nothing much else to show on the bench at the moment. I found a place to send the head out to get vapor blasted. Uh, when I get back from uh, Colorado, I'm going to get that done so the head will be all nice and cleaned up and then I can get the valves out.